Hi, it's me Anderson and I am going to show you how to do a couple art projects you can do at home as long as you have a couple simple materials. Uh, the first one we're going to do uh, has crayons and a watercolor palette. The second one, all you need is a blue ballpoint pen or just a ballpoint pen. Uh, we'll be working on making spheres and learning value scales with making a pen, with just using a pen. Um, the first one, we're going to do a landscape um, after a very awesome poem called Yellowstone. So this poem reads, Yellowstone, Northwest Wyoming, USA. Forget all your troubles, forget all your cares, and go to the park with bisons and bears. Moose go grazing, gray wolves stalk, great elk climb, and pronghorn walk. Rivers flow and geysers spout. Fir trees rise and lilies spout. Sprout. Brown trout swim and falcons fly all beneath a big blue sky by Douglas Florian. Do you want to read it with me? Let's try this together. Yellowstone, Northwest Wyoming, USA. Forget all your troubles, forget all your cares, and go to the park with bisons and bears. Moose go grazing, gray wolf stalk, great elk climb, and pronghorn walk. Rivers flow, and geysers spout, fir trees rise, and lilies sprout. Brown trout swim and falcons fly all beneath a big blue sky by Douglas Florian. Before we get started, let's take a look at our art is statement for today. Art is unique to each craftsman. Do you remember what a craftsman is? Who is a craftsman? I am a craftsman, and so are you, because we're both artists. Today's words are wax resist, which is an art concept where if you put anything with wax on paper before painting with watercolor, the watercolor will not paint in that area, and I will show you how that works today. We're also going to be working with layering. Do you remember what layering means? Layering is when you put one color on top of another color. You can do this with oil pastels, paint, or crayons. It creates an effect where you can actually change the color 